Hello everyone and welcome back to my RP1 career in Kerbal Space Program 1.12. In this video we are going to start off by attempting this X-Plane High Supersonic Optional Contract and that is because I really want the science, not really this contract at all. Uh, but I think our aircraft is capable of this. It's pushing it a bit. 650 is tough for the engine to do, but we'll try it out. And current reward is at 0% of its nominal value. I don't understand. Slowly, the reward of this contract will slowly increase over time, but will be reset to zero after each completion. Why is the reward increasing over time? And why is it zero? Um... Maybe we shouldn't do that. <laughs> I, I take it back. We're not going to do that at all. Uh, let me just get the science. I don't see. It's 0%. We get 0% of our value for doing this. Unless we let it sit there occupying our contract space. I don't know why it says contains experimental parts when it doesn't. Hold on. We probably already have one. We just need to launch it again. Alright, so, Mach 2 flight will be ready to go, throttle up, fly-by-wire on, and ignition. Don't need full thrust right now. Okay, we're off. Unfortunately, we can only get 3.3 science each time with this because of storage, and we need 3.7. So we're probably going to have to lob a rocket somewhere in order to do the rest. I think we can upgrade the cockpit to the X2 cockpit or something like that, but we don't need to for this. And I don't know if that increases or decreases the mass. Oh, well, Mach 1. On a climb. Okay, we're gonna turn around. Alright, and hopefully we'll pass Mach 2 while we're beside the Space Center, just to give everybody a nice boom and everything. There's Mach 2, but the Mach 2 flight doesn't trigger until 600 meters per second. I do wonder if we can do that contract for 650. It depends on the engine heat. We don't want to push that too much. Well, why are you stopped? So yeah, that contract was just to sustain 650. We'll see if we can do that safely. I think so. It said 650 to 675. Uh, I think we can do that contract easily, it's just that it doesn't have any value and we'd have to have it sitting there in order to accumulate value, which is annoying. Okay, we've got basically half the science, so I'm gonna turn around while still maintaining Mach 2. Well, to line up with the runway, I probably want to shade a little bit further south there. I think uh, we're nearly at the limit for what Mach 2 data we can have in here. I don't know. Oh, there we go. Depleted, see? So we can't get any more. Well, might as well go down then. No point maintaining Mach 2 if we're not getting any data. Okay, we're down, breaking. And stop. All right, recover vessel. Uh, recover to SPH. All good. Okay, so we need point three, and the simplest way of doing that is to build another one of our Thorish sixes lob it at Brazil and get the signs from the Savannah. So that is what we're going to do. All right, throttle up, SAS is on, and we are going to try to recover more Savannah science. Ignition, or film, 
imagery. We're totally taking pictures of the wildlife for a David Attenborough documentary, we swear. There we go. Now we're above the clouds and everything is clearer. I think I've gone a little bit too shallow. Let's see. I guess it'll be alright. Okay, igniting the Veronique. Let's just cut it there. Alright. Okay, the right stuff exploded. <laughs> okay, we got 1.4 credits for that. And so at long last, we can unlock our cosmic ray science, which will get a whole lot of other science because we've also got the early magnetometer boom, micrometeorite detector, improved film camera, thankfully, which will be smaller, and the early television camera. So finally, we will not have to do silly things for science, hopefully. Solar-powered satellite. Now, we are going to take some time to do that research, and that's too long, really. I think we need to hire some more scientists. Right now, the scientists are costing us more, uh, less than the engineers, but they're very expensive. Hiring cost is only 300. Their maintenance cost is 600. Then each one only decreases the number of days by one. 278.5 I don't know how quickly that adjusts actually uh, that that change in funds over the next day month and year hasn't been altered at all based on my hiring so uh, I think it's not tracking it yet 90,000 and 90,000 so we are going to try the contract for the solar satellite but we're going to try it at the new pad and add boosters to our existing rocket in the hope that that will get us enough delta v because we're be we've been falling short on delta v well i'm sick and tired of this contract so that's one thing but on the other hand it's gonna take a long time to build this actually this isn't that much cheaper so I guess it's not that bad. Hmm. Let's get the extension tank on. Okay, well we need to move our engineers to see what the build time is, but this will be the Atlas 1. It should be way OP for this purpose. Okay, we've got all our engineers at the bigger launch pad. Let's see how long it takes to build the Atlas 1. Integration time 161 days. That's a lot. And if I take the boosters off, 129 days. Well, we might as well test out the Atlas one. So, all right, we'll uh, build one of these. Satellite era science will finish. We have just made a breakthrough. We have radiation detector one in experiments, magnetometer one and micrometeorite detector and experiments. Well, good, because we'll be using those. Uh, maybe immediately. Cosmic ray detector? Yes, no? I'm going to abandon this sun synchronous orbit satellite one and get the first scientific. Oh, well, I guess we could just pick this up right now. Okay, I think we can get this science satellite done, hopefully. And we can do that on our first launch pad. But we'll need to send some engineers there. Let's uh, quickly take a look at how our budget is doing. It seems to be doing fine. Alright, we're going to hire more engineers. Hiring a hundred at a time is luxurious. A hundred. Let's try a hundred. We just need it to last a day. But it has to be in a high orbit, so we do want the Araby stuff. So, can we add the right experiment here? 
Well, we could certainly add some better experiments. Micrometeorite detector. 91 days though, and the data size is huge. Early TV camera. But we'd probably have to recover it. Oh wait, TV camera doesn't have to be recovered, right? Well, let's just put what we can in. And see what works and what doesn't. If we have enough of the charge, we can probably last. It just wants us to last a day, right? We probably can get away with... Let's see. It's a 25 watt core. It says 70 days to build this. Well, we'll give that a try. Got a little experiment on there. And a whole lot of other sciences as well. Maybe we're overdoing it though. Juggling multiple pads over here. That Thorish will complete like just shy of the deadline. Alright, so reviewing the contract. This is the science satellite. We've got lots of science on it. And it's practically object D with all the science that we've got. And we just need to aim for periapsis between 200 kilometers and 900 kilometers and an apoapsis above 1,500 and then stay in orbit for a day. In Smith Science. So, now at least it doesn't have a particular inclination that it wants. Throttle up, SAS is on, ignition. And launch. And we are above the clouds and past the speed of sound. All right, separation. And we'll uh, dump the fairings. And we'll, we'll wait till it uh, stops spinning. It's fine. Okay, good enough for me. And um, hopefully, go. We're gonna spin up and then fire our little AJ-10-27 and hope things work. So, here we go. Come on. Oh! Oh my god, we are like one kilometer away from getting that. Ah! <laughs> one kilometer! We just need 200 kilometers on the periapsis, that's all. Shoot. We went too high on the apoapsis even. Fine, but we'll get the science at least. Let's see if it maintains electric charge for a day. But we'll definitely just build one more of these. I, I want all the science showing up here. We don't have any solar panels, because solar panels cost a lot and take a long time to build. It's not really getting a whole lot of cosmic ray science though. It looks like it doesn't have enough electric charge. Okay, 4,000 electric charge. Oh, well let's get a solar panel. Let's see, how bad is the solar panel? It cut, uh, just this solar panel cuts our delta V by 100 meters per second. And it provides 60 watts. I mean, it won't be catching sunlight for a lot of it, the time anyway. Alright. But next we should have the Atlas. Indeed. Well, that's gonna be interesting. Our Atlas rocket is ready to roll out. It's gonna take 5 days and almost 10 hours. Well, there it is. I haven't painted it because it sure as heck isn't the final form or anything. Uh, we will make it look better later. For now, I'm just trying to get through these early phases. So, our contract with this is the solar-powered satellite. We just need to periapsis above 300 kilometers and for it to stay powered for 14 days. And we see how tough that is with the previous one. But we don't have any special science on it, so... Alright, ignition. Oop. Oh, what? Ooh, weird sound. 
And launch. Well, mercifully, all three engines have lit. <laughs> that would have been a problem. This is the first time we we're going to have a booster separation. A radial booster, I mean. Alright, definitely past the speed of sound. So eventually we will be putting the LR-105 on the center instead of the just having three of the same engine. And then it'll really be Atlas. And then eventually, eventually we will get European engines that we can put on here, but we don't have them yet. I guess we'll have some more. So there, we have to get the 300 kilometers after all. Okay, booster set. Well, that's as good as we needed it. It is way overkill for this particular satellite, but I've had too much trouble with the solar powered satellite thing. And the solar panels are way bigger than the actual first solar powered satellite had. So, there is that. Really, we could have just put the science on here. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't. Okay, ignition. I think maybe we have so much extra we don't even need the little arrow beam. No, we still need the arrow beam. But we'll cut it. Short. Otherwise, we'll have our apps aside on the nighttime side, and it'll just drain the battery like that. Okay, spin up and separation. All right, we'll just cut it there. If we had science on board, I'd get. Well, we could probably have gotten the telemetry analysis for in space science. We still have our apoapsis on the nighttime side. Hopefully it'll be all right. Okay, let's see. No, I'm not feeling the recharge rate here. With all that power, it's still not good enough. Okay, we'll have to try again with something else. At least we got it to orbit this time. But we'll just need bigger solar panels. If only we could... I mean, we have enough Delta V so that we could have a proper probe core up there. What if we just didn't have that? But the power requirements of this core are much higher. That's eight days for this solar panel. That's still only 54 watts. Yeah, it's just very frustrating that we don't seem to have enough when the core only takes 25. So having each one be 54 is quite a lot. But then if we point down and end up with these being the ones, these are 25 watts each. It still isn't horrible. I'm trying here, I'm trying. Maybe we should sneak the science in there too. Uh, we could do with more than one science satellite. That those sciences take a long time to accumulate anyway. All right, we'll have another Thorish that'll have the sum of the science. All right, so here we go again for the first scientific satellite. Just trying to maintain charge for a day and transmit the cosmic ray science. We'll see. So, throttle up. SAS is on. Ignition. And launch. And of course, get to that particular orbit. We were just a bit shy last time. Let's go a little bit steeper this time, maybe. Okay, separation. <laughs> it is, for some reason likes to do this. All right, fine. And 
ignition. All right, let's try it. We need 200 kilometer periapsis and 1,500 kilometer apoapsis or higher. Well, it seems a little bit more stable on the periapsis and that should be a good enough apoapsis for them. Okay, it's counting down the time. I'm just gonna stick with it. We're build building another rocket right now anyway. So we just need to maintain the power. I don't know if we're gonna get 1% of cosmic ray science though, depending on our transmission rate. Okay, that's one day. Okay, it's satisfied. It says first scientific satellite check marked. It didn't really get 1% though, otherwise we'd have 0 0.1 here. But I guess as long as it's one day, it's fine. I would like the science though, but it looks like that's not the priority here. Alright, it ran for a day, it collected science in theory, and it's still going. But it won't go for very long because it doesn't have solar panels. But at least we got that one done. Radiation bells discovered by satellite. Okay, well, yes we did that. You may, your, rate, your rocket may not actually be following Newton's laws as you need the mod Principia to simulate M-body. That's mean. That's not part of the news story. The news story isn't gonna say, hey, you're not operating under real physics. What's up with that? Trying to insult us through a news story. Oh, there's an atmospheric analysis satellite as well. What? What? Contract? How do we do an atmospheric analysis then? Early satellite light. It is this one. It's required. Oh, we, we can only get that when we've completed the solar powered satellite. And then we run a temperature and barometer scan and return the science to KSE. Gosh darn it, that's tough. I thought. I didn't realize that that was another one. It looked optional. We've got a big enough rocket to do the recovery. What we don't have is heat shields. And to get heat shields, we need 10 science. So hopefully we'll pick that up somehow. Why do I get the feeling we're gonna need to do more high-speed flight in order to get it though, because these satellites take forever. Okay, finishing the Atlas. Gosh, it's gonna take them till March. And we're making money still, but we're losing reputation. Okay, here we go again for a solar-powered satellite. We'll be easier if we unlock the uh, better probe cores though. But we would need science for that. <laughs> Wait, it said it, it's completed solar-powered satellite. Was it because it wasn't calculating the so, uh, the electric charge properly when we weren't focused on it? Well, we'll we'll, we'll still do this. Um, let's we get right in the middle of the night. So throttle up. SAS is on. Ignition. Launch. First nighttime launch, I think. Well, we don't have to worry about the terms of the contract anyway, I guess. That's a bit sad, though. I wanted it to uh, be completed legitimately. I struggled so much with that contract. I couldn't even complete it properly. Okay, booster set. Oh, we have a uh, loss of performance on it. Just the thrust. 
Well, we were due for an engine failure using three at a time and everything. Uh, looks like we can ignite. Alright, let's get the science started then. Oh, well, we got 0.2 cosmic ray science according to this, so... Mass spectrometry we don't need. Okay. Ignition. And go. But the high side will be in daylight. We should probably do a uh, in space high satellite and get to GTO and everything. Well, recharging now. Well, is it recharging properly? Okay. Let's see if it maintains a good energy balance, etc. Wait, why is it not powered? Why is it not power? Why, why is why is it draining now? It should still be quite lit. Oh, we have a uncrewed altitude and speed. I was wondering what had happened. I don't get it. why. Let me uh, go to the tracking station and come back to it. But yeah, it's still not charging properly. It's definitely lit. I mean, does it not like spinning? I mean, of course, they'll only catch the sun for a little bit. Overall, on average, they should be fine, though. I mean, this is way lower than they were saying, because it's supposed to be 54 watts charge rate. And then at most, it's getting 11. When it's pointing directly at the sun. These have a 28 watt charge rate. At most, it's getting 7. But now it's recharging. Um, now it says it's recharging. I don't know what's changed. These are still getting the same amount. These are still getting the same amount. But it's recharging overall. So something else has changed. Now it's fully charged. Well, anyway, let's get all the science going. I turned them off because... Oh, I have to get comms. Turn them off because of the power situation. Now we're on the daylight side and it's not charging. But that might be because of the science, I suppose. Oh, now it's recharging. <laughs> well, we're recharging net net right now. But the cosmic ray science hopefully will operate in the background while we do other things. Alright, anyway, it's up there. It's recharging properly. It lasts 14 days. But, for some reason, the contract completed even though I didn't fulfill it. <laughs> so, I don't... Or maybe it was the other satellite and it had the magic orientation where it was charging properly and it did it when I wasn't looking. So, that's possible.